Hey guys, Sean Terry here, flip2freedom.com. Hope you're doing well. All right, now in this video, what I'm gonna do is case study a $60,892 deal that we recently closed in in, uh, in California. Uh, I'm gonna show you how we made the offer. I'm gonna show you um, a, a new calculator we use to make our offers. Um, we're gonna talk about how we got the lead. We got about how we sold the property. I'm actually gonna show you proof of the $60,000 wire. So we got a a lot of information to cover. I'm going to do it in 10 minutes or less. And uh, if you want to learn more about how to wholesale houses in a real estate market crash, make 10, 20, 30, $40,000 a deal, then hit the like and subscribe button. I greatly appreciate it. All right. First off, let me show you proof. Uh, we get into it right here. Proof. There's 60,000, 1130, 2022, $60,892 wire came into our account uh, from Lawyers Title. That's the uh, title company we use out in California. All right. So there's the proof. Now let's talk about the actual deal. Um, and let me take you into the computer here. We'll go to it. And here's the property. All right. So the property is in California. Um, here's the address, uh, nice little house, 2,600 square feet. Um, this property is, if we look at it, it is Northern California, right? And it's kind of on the tip here. You got Santa Clarita over here. Oops. But basically, this is where it is. So you got Bakersfield, Las Vegas is over here. You got San Jose. So we got Los Angeles. So it's not in a major city. And that's what I, uh, you know, I keep telling people, you know, that you don't have to do deals in major markets. You can do deals in small markets like this and be able to sell properties and make significant amount of money um, on these type of transactions. So uh, the situation was the seller wanted out of the property. Um, they just wanted to be done with it. And um, right now, 95% of the population is going to list their house on the MLS. They have time. They're not in a rush. And they're going to sell. Actually, it's, you know, some people are panicking. About 5 to maybe now 7% of the people are starting to panic and starting to sell, you know, sell their houses. Um, and they're starting to lower their houses. You see in the, mar uh, you know, in certain markets where they're just dropping prices like crazy. So in this particular case, this seller was moving. They wanted to be done with the house. They had another house they're going to move to. Um, and they didn't want to have to do any renovation of the property, clean up the property or anything like that. So they wanted it done. They wanted a cash transaction. And they wanted uh, you know done fairly quickly, uh, so we were able to come in. And first off, we have to determine an offer price. Um, that's the first thing. And we in in this market, if we're going to do a cash transaction, we have to offer fairly low. So what we have here is uh, is I'm going to show you here uh, an offer calculator. So this is the actual offer calculator uh, we use. Um, to be able to determine the price and what to offer on the property. So this is a screenshot of the actual one. And this was a, um, basically 11, 10, 22 when we got the property under contract. And again, remember, we closed the property. Um, we closed that property on 1130. And that's when we got the uh, we got the wire. So it, it was a pretty it's about a 20 day transaction. So made the offer, got the property under contract. And what we do is to use the calculator, we use a Redfin estimate on REI automator estimate and a Zillow estimate that gives us an average price of the property. Now we initial offer between 50 and 60% and then we pivot as high as this number right here at 506. Now we got the property under contract for $508,000, right? And we sold the property for $570,000. And the reason why um, we sold it a little bit higher on our extra price and 72% of the value is because it's a fairly clean property. Um, it's fairly clean. Uh, here is um, here is Zillow. See, you know, sold five hundred nine. It's actually five hundred eight. Um, comps on its estimate was seven ten. Um, so basically, the house is in you know looks pretty nice, good condition. Seller just wanted to be done with it. They wanted to be out of the out of California. They want. I think they were moving to Florida. They were just done with the uh, with the whole California craziness there. They wanted to move out. So what we did was is we take the number. 
numbers from uh, Redfin. And now obviously these numbers have changed uh, since our Redfin estimate was initially 730. Obviously now it's gone down um, as the recording this, but uh, so here's where the actual numbers, Redfin estimate. And what we'll do is we'll grab that from here, Redfin estimate. We got Zillow estimate. We'll take a Zestimate number, drop that in here at the time Zillow was 772. And then we go um, REI automator and that was uh, 782 and it looks like our offer calculator is about, yeah, 782. So we take that, then we put the square footage of the property. Now the square footage, uh, we can get it right here, 2656, we drop it in here and we use a price per square foot when it comes to renovation. So if it's fairly clean, we use five to $10 a square foot. Um, if it needs like um, updating, we're gonna use 15 to $20 a square foot. If it's trash, we're gonna use upwards to $25 a square foot. And that's going to give us a repair cost. So when we do our offers, it's going to be this number right here, average price at 50% minus repairs gives us our offer number based upon that. And here's the potential spread. So we offered that the max was 506. We offered 508 at the property under contract. We ended up selling it uh, for 570 right here. Um, and that's pretty much exactly what our exit price is, 570. Um, and then we sold that property and we sold it uh, fairly quickly. Now we sold it to a cash buyer and it, the cash buyer was a relationship we had on another deal we sold in Santa Barbara about a year ago. So we got a property under contract, sold in, in Santa Barbara, and then turn around. Um, and we uh, talked to the same buyer, kept a relationship with them, and they were open to buying this property for $570,000. So for them, it was a deal. They liked it. They bought it. They closed it quickly. Um, and we did an assignment of contracts. So we essentially sold our contract to the buyer for that $60,000. $1,892 uh, to be able to get that deal done. Now, this lead came from Google AdWords. Now, Google AdWords, um, if I go to, let me see, uh, if I, I'll show you what that is just real quick. Uh, so if I go to Google, obviously, you know, Google here. And if you type in like the keyword right here, uh, you know, sell house fast, right? So you put sell house fast, you can have your ad show in these sponsored. You'll see it says sponsored search right there. And then this is actual, um, this is the, um, just like the business businesses based upon those, that keyword. So you can have your ad show up and then someone clicks on that ad. And what it will do is it will take them to, if I say, you know, if I was going to go um, like on, uh, my hubster or Joe, the home buyer, let's say I take Joe, the home buyer right here. Um, I just type in the information right here and this creates a lead. You can call and you can get a cash offer. So what this does, um, is it allows to generate leads 24 seven. So this particular property, this lead came in, they typed in sell my house fast. It came into our website, turned into a lead. Um, and then we we're able to talk to that seller, make an offer, um, use the offer calculator, make an offer. There's a screenshot of it and then be able to get the deal closed uh, to a cash buyer within about 20 days. So that's exactly how uh, we went out and made um, $60,000. You can do the same thing. Um, you know, you know, I have, I have, courses on how to set up pay-per-click advertising on Google. I have an entire course called Bear Market Millions, right? If you want to go like say, you know, click this link up in this corner here, um, you can see one of our trainings and we go through exactly how to crush it during a real estate market crash because you got to do things different. You got to offer different to a seller. Um, a lot of properties right now we're putting on the MLS and we're selling to retail buyers that are using a uh, conventional loan. FHA loan and VA loans. This one happened to be cash. Um, but what happens is if you list it on the MLS, you can become opportunistic and you might get cash offers and you might get um, retail offers. So 
Now, never before in history, and I've been doing this for a long time, have I ever been able to sell properties to a retail buyer. In this particular case, um, uh, you can be able to sell that the way we structured it. I actually had Corey Boatwright um, put an entire course together on how to sell properties to retail buyers, which is uh, which is amazing. So I hope this helped. Try to keep it under 10 minutes there. Again, if you would uh, like and subscribe, we got more videos that are coming online on how to exactly flip houses in a real estate market crash, how to offer, where we find them, how you could go out and do the same thing and make 20, 30, 40, 50, or $60,000 just like this. So hope this helped. Have an awesome day. Take care and God bless.